Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can turn something like this into something a little more like this. We're going to be recreating the super cool trippy melting effect in After Effects. But just quickly before we hop into the tutorial, this video is sponsored by my website. If you guys are looking for a quick and easy way to level up your visuals and speed up your turnaround time, my website is the place to be. There are tons of editing packs on there specifically designed for people like you. We have crazy drag and drop 3D assets that require no render time whatsoever. A pack that contains over 250 different LUTs that you guys can use to color your videos and much, much more, including transitions, presets sets and a lot more but without further ado let's hop right into this tutorial all right so we have this clip pulled up from the can can gta music video this effect works really good on clips that are regular speed and slow down as you can see on this one to get started we're gonna go up to effects and presets and we're gonna search displacement map we're gonna drag and drop that on there once that's on there we're gonna go to right where about where it slows down right there keyframe these make them zero go about four frames there and bring it to an amount that you like something like that looks cool we're gonna hit you on our keyboard the keyframes are gonna pop up here so we're gonna highlight these ones press ctrl c we could go a little bit further like this ctrl v and then to bring it back down to nothing we're gonna paste that one there get a cool effect like that play that through for you guys and then the next effect we're going to throw on is optics compensation drag and drop that on your clip there and right where this starts right here we're going to go up and reverse the lens distortion and then keyframe the field of view and then we're going to go to this next set of keyframes here and zoom in like this so you don't see those black borders you can zoom in as much as you like it's just going to warp the edges and then bring it back down to zero about there that looks super sick there guys and then to add the finishing touches to it i like to throw on some chromatic aberration from universe Drag and drop that on there. You get these really cool edges. So we're going to bring this distortion amount to zero right here. Keyframe it. Go where the effect starts. Bring it to about one or two, whatever you guys like. And you and our keyboard, you again for these new keyframes to pop up. I'm going to copy that one, paste it here. And then when it goes back down to zero, paste that there. So when the effect ends, you guys are going to have something just like this. Now to add a little bit more flow to it, we're going to highlight all of our keyframes here. Right click, go to keyframe assistant, and then we're going to hit easy ease right here. It's going to make all of them a lot smoother, just like this. And that was the trippy melting effect. If you guys want to see more videos just like this, I have two banger tutorials linked right here. I highly recommend you guys check them out. And I also recommend that you guys subscribe because we're going to be uploading every single day going into the next couple of months. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.